Yo guys and welcome to my channel Ako nga po pala si Armageddon And welcome to my channel Ayan. So for today this is it guys Ako kunin ko na po yung computer unit ko My customized computer unit uh, In TechShock Computer Store Here in Baguio Ayan. So mag-unbox mag tayo And mag assemble later on so sit back and enjoy uh, this video right so see you guys uh, hanap muna ako ng sasakyan and enjoy the, the video guys bye Yo guys, welcome po sa ating gaming channel. Welcome to Armageddon Gaming Channel. And ako nga po pala si Peter. And you can also call me Armageddon. And today, magbibuild po tayo ng ating gaming PC. So may nice po ito. So medyo uh, maganda to Because we are going to unbox and we are going to learn something new. And siguro together with me, to help me build this system. Uh, yes, go ahead sir. Yes. Hi everyone, my name is Albert and ako po ay isang technician ng Protect Shop Computer Store and here to help po para tapusin ang build, first ever build ni Sir Peter Lee here at Tech Shop Computer Store. Alright, so guys, stay tuned and let's do this! Alright, so Sir Albert, anong unahin natin i-build or anong um, i-discuss? Okay oh, sir, so eto muna sir, nasabi niyo sa akin na ilang buwan ang ginugol ninyo para mabuo lahat ng piyesa dito sa PC niyo. So, I think it's worth it na isa-isay natin and sabihin natin kung bakit. Ito muna. Alright. i7. Uh, Core i7 12700K, sir. Can you please tell me bakit dyan ang napili mo? So, pinili ko guys yung uh, Intel uh, Core i7 na 12th gen na uh, i7 12700K because uh, ito po yung parang uh, sabihin natin best for the buck na kung tawagin. Because uh, kung, mag, kung pipiliin natin yung 12th gen ngayon, it's for the next gen na, alright? It's, uh, I'm building this computer para sa next generation na, na yung architecture which is DDR5. So, I chose this uh, CPU kasi it supports DDR5. Ayan. And of course, the key here stands for, for overclocking. Pero hindi tayo mag-overclock dito guys, di ba? Uh, Pinili ko yung 12700K with the K kasi kung mag 12700 lang, it's the lower version ng CPU. But uh, kung may KF na rin po, wala po siyang integrated. Pag may F po siya, wala po siyang integrated yes. na GPU. Man. So, pinili ko yung K para kung maglokuman yung aking GPU in the future, may display pa rin po ako na makukuha. Yes, tama. And tandaan nyo guys, this is no slouch, kahit K lang siya. Mas magbabawa siya sa K, yes, yes. Because remember, this is i7, or i7 12700K. This has 8 cores, 16 threads sa performance cores niya. And 4 cores, 4 threads sa kanyang efficiency cores. And yun na nga, ina-adapt na nito yung bagong uh, architecture ng Intel kung saan may B-core siya at may E-core siya. Hindi katulad na mas mababa ang CPU na i5 at i3. Hindi pa nila na-implement yun. So here, makakatibid siya ng kuryente if needed and magkakaroon siya ng mas mataas na performance if needed. So, this is really a good choice for sir. Okay, sige. Buksan natin, sir. Uh, can you hand me? Yes. The... Bubuksan natin, guys. This is, uns uh, this is sealed pa po, guys. So, bubuksan natin, guys. So, mag-unbox tayo dito. Parang, first time ko, guys, uh, mag-build ng aking sariling uh, unit. So, parang, this is an unboxing experience for me as well. Kaya, ginawa natin ito yung video na to. So, ayan, 4i7. And, uh, alright. So, ito siya. Ayan, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ayan. <laughs> Ayos sa paano ba ito tanggalin yeah, sir? Ihigitin mo lang yan yung sakap ko na yan. Kuha ko mo siya dito. Ihigitin mo lang doon sir. Lalabas na yan. Ayun! Ayun! Konting higit lang pala. Yan. Yan. So this is the Intel i7. The 12th generation. Mas mahaba po siya versus doon po sa mga previous na mga Intel na mga chips. Yeah. 
So next that we are going to unbox and to discuss is the motherboard, Asus Prime Z698. Ayan. So go ahead, Sir Alfred. Sir, ngayon, alam ko na itong motherboard na to is nito support ng DDR5. Pero, maraming features dito na hindi kasama sa top of the line ng mga motherboards. Katulad ng Wi-Fi 6. Bakit po ba na ano, napili niyo itong board specific? Alright. So, for my build, I chose uh, Prime Z698. Kasi, uh, I don't want naman na mag-RGB. Uh, uh, for me, kasi I, I'm more on the, ano din, uh, sabihin natin, uh, more on the power or performance. Mm, performance, Tama, yes. oh, performance. Hindi ako masyado sa RGB. So, mga top of the line kasi na mga other motherboards, may RGB, may ARGB, yes. and so on, and so forth. And of course, may Wi-Fi sila na feature. Uh, on, for this motherboard, wala po siyang Wi-Fi kasi ang plan ko naman on my build, hindi naman po ako mag-Wi-Fi. Mag-Wi-Fi yes. 6. Mm -hmm. right. So, uh, maglalan na lang po ako or cable. So, pinili ko ito because this is one of the best choices din for, for all that I need, right? for all of my needs. Uh, nandito na rin po, marami na po, po siyang slots with the USB uh, 3.2. Uh, tapos, uh, ito, gumagamit na rin po siya ng Gen 4 na SSD. And of course, ang pinaka maganda dito, it supports DDR5. Alright. Na 12th gen yung 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 CPU and gen uh, DDR5 po yung yung kanyang memory na kaya ni support. Because uh, C, the CPU, the 12th gen, can support DDR4 and DDR5. But for me, I want it to be future proofing tayo. Kaya ng DDR5. I'll go with the DDR5. Yeah. Okay. Actually, napakagandang pick po nito kasi yung uh, USB port sa likod, kung makikita niyo po, kung ma-research niyo po nito, makikita niyo po sa build, meron na po siyang dalawang USB-C, which is naging standard na po sa uh, Europe na kailangan USB-C na lahat ng devices. Okay? So, FT yung iPhone, no, mga USB-C na yan. And not only that, uh, meron po tayong uh, USB 3.2 by 2. Mm -hmm. So that means double the speeds of 3.2. So not only that, sabi nga ni sir, maglalang table lang siya, meron tayong 2.5 gigabit internet dito. Well, mm -hmm. kung supported ng router ni sir, ma-utilize niyan. And yun nga po, lahat na po ng M.2 slot and PCI slot, PCI slot dito, PCIe I should say, is Gen 4 na po. Kaya wala po tayong problema sa battle next whatsoever sa mga bagong products niya. Yan. Ayan, so, ang buksan natin, ang buksan natin dito. Mm -hmm. Kaaganyan natin guys, for you guys. Natin. Again, this is my first unboxing video. So, medyo uh, nakaka-nervous ano guys. Uh, ayan, so, anong gagawin natin dito? I think, I, I believe, kung tatagalin natin dito. Isang buwan siya na tatas. Yun! Yan, So, ito po siya guys. Ayan. So, it's easy, it's easy. Z690, yan, Prime. Asus Prime po siya. Wala po siya masyadong uh, RGB, RGB dito. So, ipapatong natin. Yes. Alright. Kung parang nakaka-nervous talaga guys, pag first time, naman, lahat tayo may first time. Wala, 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 wala. Ayos lang yan guys. Yes. So, guys, kailangan natin. Alright. Alright guys, so yun po yung motherboard na, na binili ko and of course yun yung choice ko, Asus Prime Z690. Next natin na, na gagawin or titignan is ang RAM ko na DDR5. Again, DDR5 is the new technology na po for RAM or the architecture. So yung napili ko is the G-Skill Trident Z5, alright? So yung speed niya is 5600 uh, MP or sabi natin megahertz or megatransfers. Yes. Ayan. 
So I chose this uh, RAM because of course mabilis siya. May may power management IC na rin po siya built in inside the RAM itself. Unlike sa DDR4 na nagrelay pa sa motherboard, yes. the DDR5 is the new technology na po. So yun po ang kaya itong pinili ko. Uh, wala rin po siyang RGB <laughs> again. Uh, I'm, I'm going to for the performance here rather than the aesthetics. All right. So Albert, anything that you can say? Yes. So may sabi mo nga na ang RAM na to ay nagre-rely na within itself para i-regulate yung power na makukuha niya, which means uh, na magiging mas stable kung kailangan man niya ng voltage. Kasi kapag magre-rely tayo sa motherboard, ang voltage na ipapasok niya is magagaling sa MOSFETs and alam natin power hungry ang CPU natin. Bigla-bigla na lang mahugot ng power yan. And if ganun, baka magkaroon ng instability sa power delivery at magkakaroon tayo ng error sa RAM. What if, naisip na, bago mga architecture, bigyan natin ang sariling power uh, management si RAM within its uh, uh, PCB. Then ito na nga, ating DDR5, meron siyang sariling power management. And not only that, mga pips, 5600 to. Hindi pa ito ang nasa dulo ng DDR5. Kaya nga sabi ni sir, uh, future-proof ang build na to. Kung kukulangin man siya ng, ano, ng RAM o kung gusto niya mag-upgrade in the future, pwede niya isalpak dito kung ano mang bagong ilalabas ng mga DDR5 speeds and timings and everything. And hindi ko pala na-mention, dual 16GB po ito. So total po nito is 32GB of DDR5. Yes. So for aspiring video editors, you know, <laughs> alam na natin, kailangan natin to. Lalo na if you're going to render a lot of videos, ayan. So, this is 32 gig of DDR5 Yami. Yes. Yes, Yami. Alright, so bubuksan natin ito ngayon, guys. Uh, Sir Albert. Please. Ang ating nahiwagang cutter. <laughs> Alright, so again, ito. Yan, sealed po ito. Yes, sealed pa rin po ito. And this is again my first time uh, opening. So, ayan. Standby, medyo kabado guys. Ganyan, kabado tayo. Ah, oh. So, that's for safety. Medyo kabado guys. Ayan, ito bubuksan na natin guys. Ayan. So, napakaganda guys. Silver po ang accent niya. Or parang white. Kasi ang aking build is going to be white accent. Alright guys, so yun po yung aking RAM kanina, 32GB of memory of DDR5. Ang next natin on the line or the list of products that we are going to discuss is my storage. Uh, yung pinili ko po dito is the Sabret Rocket NVMe 4.0. Yan, kasi Gen 4 po yung uh, supported ng motherboard. So pinili ko po is the P uh, NVMe na PCIe Gen 4 na Rocket na 4.0, oh, yun, paulit-ulit tayo guys. <laughs> so, uh, pinili ko ito kasi uh, 2 terabytes po ang pinili ko because for me as a gamer and also a video editor and a content creator, medyo kailangan ko ito kasi kung lalo na mga gamers yan, mga naglalaro ng mm -hmm. uh, Call of Duty Warzone, di ba? Ang bigat ng Warzone guys. If you're a gamer, comment down below kung ano po kayo. Kung gamer kayo, you can comment down na <laughs> Uh, di ba ang laki ang laki ng, ng storage na kailangan so for me this is sufficient for me uh, the performance is so good also kasi mabilis din po siya gen 4 na po siya current right now is gen 3 but of course the next generation tire future profit gen 4 tayo and uh, if you are a video editor or a gamer or a streamer uh, this is sufficient na for now. Yeah. And of course, to discuss more about the Sabre na Rocket NVMe 4.0, uh, this product, kung hindi nyo pa po familiar yung, yung product ito, it can compete with a uh, Samsung Evo mm -hmm. na, na product. But again, I will let Sir Albert here discuss okay. more about it, guys. Sir. So, nasabi nga ni Sir Peter na tayo ay naka Gen 4 NVMe. Okay, so supported din ang motherboard natin, so mali-leverage natin yung five, up to 5,000 megabytes a second ng sequential read and write. You see guys, kasi as a streamer na sir, video editor, gamer, kailangan natin ng mabilis na storage. Kasi kung nag-off tayo ng same price, hard disk, so ilang terabytes? 8? 12? Mm, pwede. 
Pero yung data transfer natin, napakabagal. Kahit mabilis lang ating CPU, maganda yung RAM natin, maganda lahat. Pag naglagay ka ng hard disk dito, alam ko na kung mangyayari dyan. Para ka naglagay ng jeepney driver sa isang race car. Ganun ang mangyayari. So, the chain is already strong enough as its weakest link. And hindi tayo nag-chip out dito dahil 2TB na. And it can keep up with the processing speed of the i7. Okay, sir. Alright, so bubuksan natin, sir. Pag-i... Oo, na mahiwag ang cutter niya. So, uul... Medyo kabado tayo, guys. Alright. Medyo kabado lang ang kamay. Eh, bakit? Eh, kayo ba? Kung makakapag-build na kayo dyan, alam nyo ang feeling. Kaya, makakarilin tayo. So, guys, ito na. Bubuksan ko na yung Sabrent na storage. KNPSE. Wow! Ang ganda po ng casing nyo, guys. If you can see this. Ayan guys, na para naka-copper Ano pa siya? Storage Ayan, wandaan natin guys Meron po siyang unlock the speed na kasulap Ayan po siya So included on the box is of course a user manual Tapos may bed po siyang icon, parang sticker Alright, and of course the two Terabyte NVMe Sabrent Gen 4 SSD storage. Yeah. Alright, guys. So yun po yung aking storage na Sabrent NVMe 4.0 or Gen 4. Yan. Ang next natin po, konti na lang guys. So, ang next natin on the line is the AIO, the or the all-in-one na ROG Strix uh, 240. Yan, yeah, na RGB. RGB po siya. So, white edition yung pinili ko kasi yung accent ng motherboard, yung case ko, and the power supply are almost all white. So, kaya po pinili ko yung white version. Meron din po itong version na parang ano, 300 360. 360 yes. na, but uh, for right now, right now 240 lang po ang pinili ko. Now, ang kagandahan nito of course is for the cooling ng CPU. Yes. Kasi grabe ko nga yun din ng, ng kuryente CI7. Yes. Uh, to specific up to 190 watts. Yes. Yes. Yun. So, power hungry po si i7. So, to keep, to keep him cool, para cool yung heads natin, uh, magkailangan natin ng AIO. So, uh, yun po, hindi rin po siya parang uh, LED or parang yung display niya. Uh, ano lang siya, lights lang po siya. May RGB lang din siya. So, sige, uh, bakit AIO? Kasi cooling. Ayan. So, sige, go ahead, sir. Ayan. Okay. So, magandang choice ni Sir ito na mag-liquid cooling talaga kapag high-end yung processor natin. We can say na pwede naman ng air cooling pero we have to go dun sa level ng mga Noctua or Dar, uh, hindi Dark Flash eh. Other brands na kayang palamigin yung i7 12700K. So, sa water cooling kasi, hindi to walang air cooler na makakatapat sa thermal mass ng water cooler natin. Okay? Tubig pa lang, talo na agad dyan. Yes, mabilis mag-dissipate ng heat ang air cooler. But, ang thermal mass ng water cooling natin ay kayang i-maintain ang low temperature for longer periods of time. You see, kapag mag-air cooler ka, mag spike yung temperature mo bago bababa. Sa water cooler, tataas yan, yes, pero hindi yan aabot dun sa max temperature like the air cooler. And other than that, ang water cooling natin is uh, ano to, 240. Yes. yes. Maganda rin yung fans na dinala kasama ng ROG Strix. Kasi, 200, 2,500 RPM. Means, gagamitin natin to sa exhaust. So, we need that static pressure to push the air out. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, this is a quality water cooler for our CPU. Yeah. Yun. So, yes. guys, ito na pinakakahihintay din natin. Siyempre, bubuksan natin siya. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Oh, oh. So this is the ano kagandahan po sir ah uh, mga mga viewers natin yan pagbukas mo ang ganda ng pagkakagawa pa ng box premium talaga, <laughs> di ba? 
So welcome to the Elite Republic of Gamers community na Silla Players. And of course, this is the AIO. So uh, included po ito, syempre yung kanyang bracket, yes. right? Of course, okay. for mounting and mga cables niya. And of course, yung fans niya. This is the 240, dalawang 240 fans. And of course, yung pinak AIO. Yeah. Right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ayan, yung radiator niya. And of course, this is the AIO or may liquid cooling na po siya sa loob. Alright, so guys, ibababa ko po dito. Kukuha lang tayo ng shots again. So, for you to see ang kagandahan ng AIO. Alright guys, so yun po yung AIO natin. Next on the line na, hindi na natin makatatagalit pa, is yung ROG Strix 850 watts na power supply unit. So again, white accent kung pinili ko dito kasi white build po tayo. And yun, fully modular po siya. Eh, maganda po kasi you can customize kung ano lang po ng cable ang gusto nyo ilagay. Uh, 850 po yung pinili ko because... Uh, Ma malaki kumain po na power si CPU at si GPU so we don't want it na parang during the fly or during operation bigla sa mga power trip na nakulangan sa ng power uh, may mga ibang power dyan pero, uh, but I, I chose this kasi although 600 po yung wattage na, uh, na parang minimum niya I chose it to be 850 Pwede din po ako mag-go ng 1,000 pero wala po kasi si Asus ng black uh, uh, ng white accent for that. So kaya po 850 na ROG Strix ang uh, pinili ko na power supply uh, unit. So yes, baka may additional po si sir. Yes sir, actually napakagandang step ang kinawa ni sir dito na nag-overspec siya sa kanyang power supply. Kasi lahat ng parts ng, power, ng PC mo, pati fans, dito kumukuha ng power, okay? So, sabihin natin yung 90 si CPU, 200 si GPU, meron pong times na biglang magiging spike. Kung hihingi siya ng biglang kailangan ng 230, kailangan ko ng 200 bucks, ganun. Kapag hindi po mataas yung headroom sa power supply natin, magkukulang po yung ibibigay ni power supply. So, um, overspecking of power supply is not a bad thing because kahit magpalit ka ng bin, Dadalhin mo to. Pwede mo kumukuha. Kailangan na kailangan. Oh. Siya, yung, siya yung nagbibigay ng juice. Oh, that's true. <laughs> And even if, kahit makapag ilang upgrades ka, never the, uh, wag lang magpalit ng architecture power supplies na lumilipat sa 10 pin, uh, 12, uh, 12 VO, this will carry out 10 years even more. Yes. So, we have 850 watts in fully modular. Pito management. Kung nang kailangan mo, yun lang isaksak mo. And yes, ito po ay nag-feature ng premium Japanese capacitors. Kung mga tao, mga viewers ko sir na marunong sa um, electronics, alam natin ang um, value ng Japanese capacitors. And capacitors is very important pagdating sa mga power supply. Dahil pag nag-chip out kayo dyan, alam niyo na, magic rings. <laughs> may genie na lang labas. Oo, oh, may genie na labas dyan. Kung di man green, white, or parang mong kulay, yung may smoke na labas. So, this is a very good choice for certain. Alright. So, again, yung mahiwagang ating uh, cutter ng mga ah, yes, yes. Kailangan na. And of course, guys, may 10-year warranty from ASUS. Oh. Ito ang, um, ano, ang build na ito. Or ang um, power supply na ito. Mm -hmm. So, may 10-year warranty. So, if ever na kailangan nyo ng sabihin natin, if ever mag, mag bug down yung power supply which is, pero hindi naman, again, because of the premium quality yes. na hindi ito uh, built on this system, so tatagal po ito ng 10 years or more alright, so medyo and ah, uh, so, nalimutan na natin mention sir, ito po ay uh, 80 plus gold, oh, yes. Yes. so it's very efficient sa kanya pag uh, doon po sa mga hindi nakakaalam kung ano yung ratings ng power supply. Ang ibig sabihin po ng mga ratings niyan is 
at this level of flow, it has a specific efficiency curve. Okay? Mas mataas ang rating, like bronze, meron bang silver, sir? No, I think yes, I meron. I think bronze, silver, gold, gold and, and platinum. platinum. Yan ha. Sa higher the, uh, uh, the rating, mas efficient siya sa paggamit ng oriente. Okay? Sige, <laughs> medyo pati natin yung, yung, <laughs> ano, yung ating tawag nito? Copper. Copper na disassemble, guys. Unboxing ng copper. Yun. So when I open this, guys, may kasama po siya. May, may ano na siya, cable management. Yeah. Parang may cable. Ang ganda pa ng pagka-plastic niya. Cable management po yun. Ay, wow, ano, Velcro. White din, siya. White, siyempre. And of course, the product itself, the power supply. Very Ooh, wow. May ano po siya, ito yung cable niya. Yes. Cables. And tandaan niyo po, huwag na huwag yung gagamitin ang modular cables, cables ng isang brand sa ibang brand. Alright. Kasi pwede pong magkaiba yung pin-out. Kahit parehas po yung saksakan, yung pin-out ay magkakaiba. Delikado sa sabi kong isa. Ayun! Wow! wow. Oh my God! Ang bigat guys! Ang <laughs> bigat! <laughs> so ito po, this is it. The ROG Strix 850 watts. Yan. So, let's put it here, guys, for you to see. Alright, so yun po yung ating power supply, 850 watts of pure energy. Anong Gary Balintiano na? <laughs> Pero, uh, dito tayo ngayon sa last but not the least, of course, yung GPU na or the graphics processing unit. Top Gaming Graphics Card na RTX 3060 Ti. Yes. So, bakit ito yung pinili ko? Because the, there are various versions of the RTX series. Alright? So, may 20, may 2000 series, may 3000 series, may 3050 din, may 3060, and may PI version. So, ang dami po niyan. But for me, uh, may 3070 and so on and so forth. But for me, I chose the 3060 PI because it's parang best of the best. Na rin, parang best for the buck or best for the budget. Kasi, kung mag 3060 ako, Medyo 12 gig of uh, GDDR6 Gin nga po siya yung video RAM niya or VRAM Pero iba rin yung uh, cores, core counts ng 3060Ti versus the 3060 Kung magta 3070 naman po tayo, konti lang slight difference lang naman So, but the price is different And of course, 3080 Medyo ah, masakit na sa gusta. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so, kaya itong pinili ko yung um, tough na GeForce RTX or tough gaming from Asus. Uh, of course, there are a lot of uh, brands also. Uh, notable brands din po sila. But uh, I also chose the Tri-Fan. Yung 1, 2, 3, 3, fan. Because for me, I believe yung cooling efficiency ng Tri-Fan is much better than dual fan. But slight lang naman po yun, guys. Uh, you can do more research if you want to know more about yes. that. But for me, I prefer the fry pan na, na uh, parang look ng GPU din mm -hmm. And of course, meron din po siyang aura sync, yes. diba? And ayan, so 3060 Ti, uh, 8G DDR6 na po siya. And of course, maybe may may data lag. So, yes, sir. Go ahead. So, uh, uh, ito pong GPU natin na po. Nasabi nga sir, na 8 GB lang yung GDDR6. But, to be straightforward, na uh, hindi po VRAM ang labanan dito. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm, katulad ng sinabi kong driver race car kanina, hindi lang yun yung factor. Okay? So, it has more to the course, but lower uh, RAM size. Okay? Pero pag nakita natin sa benchmarking, this is a bang for the buck na GPU yun. Lalo na, uh, siyempre may budget naman tayo, hindi man tayo infinite. Kung infinite, eh, sige, 39 na. Bakit hindi? Pero you see, uh, the value that this graphics card gives for its price point is very, very good. Okay? And nagustuhan nga ni sir, yung three fans. Oo, oh, uh, tama yan. Kailangan natin ng adequate cooling kasi mahaba ang rendering sessions. Lalo na kung uh, 4K, diba? 60 FPS. Tagal yan. Gaming sessions, direct-direct yan. Ano na, walang, walang 15 minute game. <laughs> mobile, meron. <laughs> ah, oh, mobile, meron. Mobile, meron. 
One game, one game. Mm, one game. Pero sa ano, one games. One games. <laughs> Plural. Magkakaroon ka ng 2 hours, 3 hours, dire-diretso ka naglalaro. And even rendering, ilang oras. Yung pinakamahabang rendering ni Sir sa kung lumang unit niya sa akin. 15 hours. Yes. See? So, kasama ng ating um, case na makikita natin mamaya. Ang tooling nitong si GPU na to is adequate para sa ating uh, purpose of this OBU. Okay? And let's open this. Let's do this. Yan. Ito na yung parang... And guys, hmm. tip lang. Diba medyo mababa na kasi yung price ng mga GPU. If you want to buy also to inquire GPU na mga ano, panong na po kayo dito sa shop nila. Yes sir, right? Very responsive po kami in front test and yeah. i-assist po namin kayo kung ano po pwede namin may bigay sa inyo. Yes, legit po. So, yun. Ano na, this is the first time. Kaya medyo kabado guys. Nanginginig ako guys. Yun. And this is the build. Part 36. Part 36. I'll hold it. Thank you sir. Oh. Yun. 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 Incredible. Asus. Ah, so, so, See how it feels. Boom! 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 Hey, hey! 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 Hey, then, ito yung static. Anti-static. Anti -static. Uh, yeah. Ay, ito lang pala di siya. So, bubuksan natin guys. Puro sa top edition talagang makakapal yung kulay niya. 3060 Ti lang ito. Pero, I think that's 2 inches. Of or more. Or more. Siguro guys. Yan. Ito so, siya. Yun, madami tayong kailangan later on na ET peel yeah. for the peel and yeah. so again try fun pusha this is the Asus tough gaming uh, R3060 Ti yeah. So guys, yun na po yung ating mga parts kanina. Ang last but not least, itong Hulk of a big chunk of case na po guys. Ang bubuksan natin. So titignan muna natin, bubuksan natin ito para makita niyo po guys kung ano din ang, ang case nito. Kasi color. Okay, makakita. Yan. Yun. Tapos ang... Tapos actually guys, pwede ganyan yung Nice! Okay. So, oops! Paki... Ano lang? So, Albert? Ayan. So, buksan muna natin guys. Para makita. Let's put So, okay. Okay? So, Albert. Paano ba ito? Balik na natin. Balik na natin. Then, for... Paano ba? On the sideways muna. Sige, go ahead sir. Ikaw muna. One, two, three. Oh. 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 guys. Wow. Oh. 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 There we go. There we go. Yeah, now wow. Sir, pop okay, this down. Okay. Down. And side. There you go. So guys, if you notice, white pusha. Because again, white build po tayo. And this is called the Asus GT501. So bakit ito rin pong pinili ko? Because uh, may, number one, may air filters po siya. Right. Yun po yung kagadaan, may air filter po siya sa top and on the front panel. So, of course, uh, kailangan natin mag-maintain ng mga uh, computer parts natin. Yes. So, kailangan ng air filter din po kasi they will suck in 
the air and then they will exhaust it at the back. So, kailangan po natin minsan ng air filters. So, maganda itong case nito because uh, may air filter siya. And, bakit pinili ko yung 501 over the 301 kasi yung 301, uh, maganda rin po siya na case. Uh, it has also a white build. Uh, Asus stuff din siya but wala po siyang air filter. So, I chose this because uh, it suits my needs again for proper air cooling. So, i-feature natin ito. May front panel din po siya and may side panel din po siya na ano ba ito? Plexi glass ang tawag dito. I think glass. Glass talaga. So, yun po. May front USB 3.0 support na rin po siya. Headphone and mic support. Ayan. And of course, baka may dalagdag din po sa subcalver. Yes. So, napansin nyo naman po talaga. Ang nasabi namin na power hungry lahat ng ating components. Core components, CPU and GPU both. So, ang choice ni Sir focusing sa airflow is quite good actually. Kasi, this has built in. Tatlong A320 sa harap ng mga RDGAN. Meron po siyang kasamang tatlong ARGB na pan sa harap. In one exhaust, which is I think this is 140. Yes, 140mm sa likod. Now, ilalagyan natin as exhaust din yung ano, yung AIO natin sa taas. Project place, walang pass dyan. And, mas malaki yung volume ng hangin na nasa loob. Okay? So, hindi, there's no way, there's no way na mag-drop tayo sa loob. Kahit mo po naman yung tables, malawak yung space. And, of course, napakaraming lalagyan ng hard drive and SSD sa auto drive. 2.5 inch data drives. Kung kailangan naman ni Sir ng upgrade in the future and nawala na siya ng M.2, marami siyang paglalagyan. So, okay Sir. Alright, so yun po. Again, for you guys, you may want to see this, right? part 1 of the video, yung, yung unboxing video. And of course, uh, hope you enjoy and you learn something new. Tama po ba guys? Now you know the parts and everything. Uh, check the links down below. Uh, if you want to, if you're interested, uh, check the links down below. Uh, of course, Sir Albert has some things to say also. Go ahead. Yes, okay. For builds like this or any kind of computer needs or services, please message us at uh, TechShock Computers para din sa Baguio and Technobeats Computer Store powered by TechShock and kapag nasa baba kayo mayroon din po kami branch sa Pangasinan or the Neta na the TechShock Computer Store or the Neta branch okay just leave a message and we will be promptly replying to you thank you very much Right, so yun po, again, follow us on our YouTube channels, on our Facebook pages, the links are down below. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Guys, see you on our next video. Part 2 po is assembly na po guys. And if you're interested on watching how we assemble these uh, parts, check it out on the link below as well. Or uh, follow, uh, dito, dito, baka na dito. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Alright, sige. Bye guys, see you.